month after a 60 Minutes report raised big concerns about laminate flooring from lumber liquidators, another type of popular flooring is under fire. As Consumer Watch reporter Julie Watts explains, environmental groups are focusing on vinyl. It's one of the cheaper choices on the flooring aisle, but a new report by an environmental watchdog group is urging consumers to walk away from some vinyl flooring. What I rec would recommend is that people look at alternatives. Carolyn Cox says the new study by saferchemicals.org is raising concerns. It found 100% of the vinyl flooring samples tested from lumber liquidators and Ace Hardware and 48% from Lowe's contain phthalates, a class of chemicals used to make materials more pliable. They um, disrupt the hormones in our body. Hormones are really important. It's what determines basically everything our body does, so growth, development, um, things like digestion and emotions. And Cox says there are a number of ways flooring could pose a risk. The phthalates are going to slowly off-gas from the flooring, so you will breathe them in. Phthalates are already banned in children's products, and California's Prop 65 requires warning labels for certain phthalates, which were found in some of the samples tested. But today, we couldn't find any warning labels on any vinyl at the lumber liquidators or Lowe's stores we visited. The study's authors say Home Depot has taken a step in the right direction, making a commitment to sell only phthalate-free vinyl flooring by the end of the year. And environmental watchdogs are now calling on the other stores to follow in Home Depot's footsteps. Now, Lumber Liquidator says it does post a generic Prop 65 warning for all its products at the point of sale and on the receipt, but contends its vinyl doesn't contain high enough phthalate levels to require a label in the first place. Lowe's says it's reviewing the research and is working with suppliers to consider alternative materials. And remember, if you have a consumer problem or a question, give us a call, 888-5-HELPS-YOU. So what should you do if you have a vinyl floor? Well, you know, I, we should be clear that not every vinyl floor has these phthalates sure. in it. Okay. Um, but if you are concerned, uh, Carolyn Cock recommend, recommends washing it, washing it frequently. Don't eat food that's dropped on it. Sure. And if you have small children, obviously, don't allow them to crawl it's around. A huge concern on the floor. But you know, listen, everything I mean, that falls on the floor goes into my kids' mouth, right, exactly. so it's, it's hard. It's yeah. really next to impossible. She says you don't need to rip it out, but you know, just be mindful. Okay. Got it. All right.